Here we go. Give her the beans. <laughs> oh man, that puts a smile on your face. Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 1972 Datsun 240Z. The iconic Japanese sports car that kind of started it all. But this is a really amazing kind of semi-survivor car. Uh, it's got about 55,000 miles on it. Uh, but it's an incredibly rust-free car, mechanically excellent. And we'll kind of talk about the condition and you know stuff like that here when we get into the details but just kind of giving you the overview so i bought this car from a gentleman up here in uh, northern kansas uh he had the car for I guess, 12 15 years something like that and uh interesting story he bought it um <laughs> so an old man had this out in california for most of its life that's why it's rust free and then i guess he passed away and his his uh, uh grandson i think uh, got it in uh, kansas and somehow or another, I think he got arrested in it and it got impounded. <laughs> and so he actually lost the car. And then uh, this gentleman that I got it from, I think actually, I think he's the one that actually bought it at impound, I think is what he told me. But uh, crazy story. And then he really didn't hardly drive the car much. He had it for all those years, but I mean, he knew what it was, he knew it was special. And uh, so luckily it's been incredibly preserved. But persimmon red, uh, with that uh, white interior great color combo and if you've seen some of the pictures when I got it you know it had some aftermarket wheels on it and so I actually was super lucky and sourced some of the actual originals right off of a 72 240z uh, and they were takeoffs and uh, super lucky to find those and uh, <laughs> really good condition and also then I went and put the Pirelli uh, reproduction vintage tires on it. So we've done a lot of work to this car and I'll kind of talk a little more maybe while we're driving, um, talk about, you know, a lot of the work that we've done to it right now. We'll kind of just dive into it. So this car, it, it, it kind of looks like original paint, but it's not, it's probably been resprayed probably, I don't know, I'm guessing probably 30 years ago, probably had some fading on it or something like that. So, um, you know, somebody resprayed it about 30 years ago. And then there's a couple other, uh, paint things that have been done past that so i'll kind of show you here we haven't polished this car we haven't done anything to this car i'm kind of doing this car in a stage one and a stage two so this is kind of like the first stage where we did all of the mechanicals and uh you know got it basically up to scratch as far as mechanically and then i've got a lot of people that are you know they don't have a price on the website because it's been ongoing project you know we're putting money into it and you know and reconditioning the car and then so i'm going to basically stop at this point for a short time and i've got a lot of people that inquired on this car and so they're going to get this video and so it'll be for sale at this stage um you know for a short time and then what i'm actually considering doing is actually considering uh respraying the car the you know, full glass out you know um and just an exterior spray no jams no undercoat no uh engine bay because it's such an original car you know you want to leave that stuff original um, and, uh, so, uh, but then that would be a whole second video and then obviously a whole different price point. 
but uh, so this is kind of stage one. So we're just kind of showing you the car, you know, as it is. Um, and you'll see that there's, there's scratches, there's swirls, you know, there's imperfections. We haven't even buffed this car, you know, kind of showing it to you how we got the car. And I would almost leave it original like this, but there's a couple things that bug me. Uh, the previous owner pulled this off and repainted it for some reason. I don't know, had some scratches or something on it, but didn't really, you know, didn't match very well. So that bugs me. Um, coming across the front here, go ahead there and look at the headlights. There's the markers. Here's our front bumper. Go ahead and just show you the whole front bumper here and grill assembly. see all of that here's our other marker headlight there is our turn signal and we'll have it up on the lift here in a little bit to get a full view underneath also so we won't be crawling underneath of it while we're sitting right here so you see that there and then like i said one thing that bugs me a little bit here is this fender doesn't match this fender's been repainted you know like so here's the car paint that's been on the car for you know 30 years and then somebody repainted this fender here and uh doesn't really look that great doesn't really match not real happy with that so that's why like i said you know you know i'll sell it like this somebody if they want to take and do it themselves um but then if it doesn't sell just because i love the car i kind of it's kind of a project i'm almost doing it's kind of for sale but at the same time, it's kind of doing it for myself a little bit. You never know, if it gets restored, I may end up keeping it. But there's our emblems right there. And like I said, I'll show you the bottom. Now here are the wheel covers. You know, they have some patina on them. They could be restored. That would happen, uh, you know, I would have these restored uh, if we go to stage two on the car and do a repaint. Tires are brand new Pirellis, super soft and super sticky. And we've actually spent a lot of money on this car. We'll have receipts and stuff in the, I won't go, we'll have receipts in the picture gallery and I'll talk about more of everything we've done when we're driving it. But just an example here, like it had black wiper blade arms here. The, these are the factory stainless steel arms and it had black deals and which look, you know, people just threw these away. Well, these are actually new old stock and they only had like two left in the world. I think it cost me like a hundred and some bucks for these two wiper blades. <laughs> but look at it. I mean, you just have to have that just to make it look right. Windshield's in good shape. Here's a picture of the dash fin. Windshield is in good condition, but if we go to stage two, I actually have a new windshield sourced for it. Uh, look at the, the sheet metal in this car is really good. Very few dings or dents. Looking at the door here, a little scuff in the paint. You see, and there's just enough imperfections in the paint. And the fact that it's not original is the reason that I'm considering repainting the car. Because it's just, because it's such a great car. See, there's some road rash, you know, from, you know, a lot that you should tell us paint's been on this car a long time. But the good thing is, is it was painted and, uh, you know, there was no rust at all on the car, so there's nothing underneath the paint. No, so this one's not hiding any, not hiding any secrets. Little Z badge there. The glass is good, I just got it down. Here's our rear wheel cover. Don't really need to show you the tires because they're new, but you can see all the original metal in there in the wheel lips. There's the bumper end, rear marker light, power antenna works. Put a new exhaust on it. Got the cool period louvers on it. And uh, if I end up painting this car, I'll still put these louvers back on it. I just really love them and they really fit the car. Let's do the tail panel here real close. So there's our tail light, a little bit of pitting in the chrome in there a little bit, but the tail lights are in good condition. Tail panels in good condition. There's our new tag plates there. Let us know if you want one. There you go, there's the tail lights. Now let me show you the bumper in close deal here. Little 
dry cracking on the impact strip right there. Marker lights in good condition. Show you our emblems here. Need a little cleaning, a little restoration, but they're in good condition. Gas lid. Good there. Little vent right there. Put it across the roof again. Super clean. A little chip out of the paint right there. Maybe a little ding with it. But again, this body is really, really nice. Here's the right rear wheel cover. Looking down the right side. A couple little door dings in the door on that body line right there. Just a couple little dings. That would all probably PDR out, but, or you just, you know, when you do the body and paint work, that's the time to take care of those little small imperfections. See them right there? but it is an incredibly straight car. Really good. Some chips there on the fender. So you can see, I mean, there's patina, you know, all over the car, but it is a good solid car. Here's our right front wheel cover. All right, let's go ahead and pop the hood and we'll tour under the engine bay. All right, we got the hood up. Again, a lot of originality underneath the hood here. Original air box. And we haven't detailed this car. I haven't, uh, uh, so we did the valve cover gasket, the intake exhaust manifold gaskets, put new carburetor insulators on, uh, European car company, uh, tuned and balanced the carburetors, uh, new cap rotor points condenser, and you'll notice that we used OEM, uh, all OEM parts. And uh, so looking underneath the, so you can see some of the overspray of the old, of the old uh, respray. And so if we go to stage two with this car, you know, we'll obviously be replacing, you know, all of these, uh, like the rubbers and all of that stuff. But as it is right now, and you can see under the hood, there's our original stickers. Uh, we've got some original paint peeling. I might spray the underside of the hood if I respray it. I don't know. And like I said, I'm trying to leave a lot of the originality here. So definitely not going to touch anything in the engine bay. It could be touched up, I guess, but that would be about it. Um, Cause the cars, there's, you know, being there's, originality is a big deal in these cars because they hide so many issues. down in here. Radiator all looks good. There's our battery. The little doors are kind of cool the way they did those. It's kind of unique. Somebody previous owner put a new starter on it. Looks like I think we did new heater hoses and we went with the original ones. Like I said, we haven't cleaned this since we fixed all the oil leaks, but they weren't, but this goes to show you though, and they really weren't that bad. It's not like this thing is caked in grease. I mean, you know, look at that. I mean, that actually is a good thing to kind of show you what it looked like without cleaning. Because it kind of really shows you everything. So there is a good look under the hood. This thing runs perfect, runs cool, drives down the highway 70 mile an hour, 80 mile an hour, no problems at all. Let me show you the stickers. Oh, I'm glad I remembered this here. We're upside down, but there's our little body tag right there. <laughs> Check this out. Even the little trouble light works. And when we did the valve cover, this thing is just absolutely mint inside. The 
no sludge, perfectly mint. All right, once you see this interior, we'll go check it out next. All right, here's your bird's eye view of the interior. And I'll start here with the door panel. Door panels are in good condition. They are, you know, they are discolored. And this is supposed to be chrome right here. You can kind of see, and then it's like, and then it peels off. As you can kind of see that. We haven't cleaned these panels or anything. You know, there are stuff that people use that like on computers and things on these old plastics that you can use to kind of clean them up and make them bright again. I've kind of been looking into that, haven't done anything, so this is original. It's what you're seeing right here, right now. I'll show you this door jam. Here's the tag right here. And then this is really what's so, uh, if I repaint the car, I'm only gonna do it to right here, right? I'm gonna leave the jams factory because it's amazing the condition that they're in. No rust, basically. There's your threshold seal there now the seats uh they had been recovered you know just in black and they were wrong so we actually ordered the factory reproduction uh factory seat covers for the car and so you'll see that's kind of the what the white's supposed to look like you'll see how it's kind of you know that's what it's degraded to but this is actually the original kind of an off-white of that and uh somebody's put some new carpets in here but you can see that look at the pedals here there's no wear on the pedals clutch brake throttle you know fair pretty much coinciding with that 55,000 miles so it looks like somebody put some aftermarket carpets in let me do this here real quick pull this carpet up because I'm gonna pull the carpet out actually, so we can get a really good view of this floor and how incredible it is. And you see how that's kind of got some discoloration. It would be worth uh, looking into on YouTube and looking at some of these ways that people restore that stuff. It would definitely be worth looking into. Be neat to save the original vinyl in the car. So there's the floors. Looking across the dash here, dash is in good shape. There's a couple little hairline cracks. Uh, you'll see one there to the left side of that center pod and the right side of that center pod. But otherwise that dash is in really good condition. All the gauges work except the clock. Here's our center stack. Shifter. Choke works. There's a little emblem that goes right there, right here. And I actually have it. Actually, it's in here. There it is right there. Just haven't put that on yet. But look at that boot. Shift knob. Look at that. Really good shape. And original radio plays. Power antenna works. Blower, heat, fresh air all works. Cigarette lighter, flashers, wipers, horn. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our steering wheel. It's in good shape. It has, you know, some patina on it. Some of the paint on the spokes has flaked a little bit. But honest steering wheel there. There's our little horn button. So it could, you know, use some detailing and stuff in here. It's kind of pretty much kind of how we got the car. And I'm going to show you the headliner here. Original headliner, original visors. Again, you know, some various discolorations just with age, but she's all original, pretty much all original in here in the interior, except for the seat covers. We did replace the seat covers. Let me flip this forward for you and I'll go ahead and pull this carpet up too. So you can see there is no rust in this car. There's all our vinyls. Seat belts are all good. Got the shoulder belt and the lap belt. Even the little strut towers are really good. And all the vinyl's good in this car. Again, the chrome's peeling there, it's gone. Here is our center 
a little armrest. Wow, still good. Hinges are good. You saw this little ashtray there. All right, let's go ahead and step around to the other side. While we're doing that, I will go ahead and pop the trunk. There's our power antenna. Like I said, it works perfectly fine. Even the trunk strut holds. So that's really, really cool. Here is the underneath of our deck lid. Now that I'm thinking of this, I'm gonna show you underneath the doors too. And then here's then the jam. Now there's just a couple, a little bubble, a little bubble right there. Teeny bubble right there. But that's just like a surface bubble. Look at that, super good. Trunk's in really nice shape. There's our strut tower vinyls. Lift up the carpet. Got some extra wire there for some reason. But here's all the metal in here, which is what we're what we're really looking at. All the metal. And then lift up the spare. Wow, there's your spare tire. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. And there you go, look at that. Look how good that is. I haven't, like I said, I haven't even pulled that out before, but see that's just some surface, you know, some surface crust right there. But yep, yeah, even the spare tire well is good. Need to just vacuum it and clean it up a little bit, but good in there. All right, and just also here while I'm back here, show you the uh, trim panels. Wow, really good condition. Really amazing. It'll be upside down here, but there's your tail trim panel. Wow, I haven't even really looked at that before, to be honest with you. Hope you're not getting dizzy. <laughs> but look how good all those panels are. All right. Go on here to the passenger side. Here is the passenger door handle or door panel. So now this one still has the chrome on it. <laughs> See that right there. Not sure if that can be redone or what you can do on that, but handles nice. And then actually I want to show you under the doors. I'll get the other side too. Dash. Go ahead and pull these carpets out. Flip up the seat. This one out. I'm gonna see for a little bit. There we go. And the floor under the passenger seat. Like I said, we had these seats out. There's no rust hiding under there. She is amazing this car did have the dealer add on ac we have that whole unit the previous owner uh took it out of the car because it kind of took up some space here so we'll put some pictures of the components in the picture gallery on the website but uh, we actually do have the dealer add on ac for this car and from what i understand is i, I have all of it So now let's go ahead and jump in. First of all, we're gonna put it on the lift and show you underneath of it. Actually, I almost forgot. I gotta show you the driver's door. Right. 
now we're gonna throw it on the lift, show you the underside, and then we'll take it for a drive. All right. One thing I did forget to show you here, a neat little deal is a little hidey hole here. Oh, wow, there's the factory tools and the factory little tool compartment. So I'm glad I remembered that. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh, I found a cassette tape stash. Those are coming with me. Van Halen. Bad English. What do we got here? Guns and Roses. <laughs> awesome. Love it. All right, we got the 240Z up on the lift here. Kind of show you everything underneath. And then here's that rear tail panel that somebody taped off and sprayed and didn't get the color match, right? A little bit of runs right there, but it's really awesome underneath this car. So look inside the fender lips. Look at that, it's completely original. Right there, amazing. Here's our fender lip there. Usually those are gone. So we did put the uh, new OEM style exhaust on it. There is the new differential mount. Let me do this here. Let me just kind of give a, a full pass under and then we'll kind of go under details. Let's do that first. So you can get a bird's eye view of everything. Go the other way. I need a selfie stick so I can hold it down lower. <laughs> so there is underneath. All right, now we'll kind of go into the details here. So you can see our brand new vintage Pirelli tires like we talked about. Aluminum drums, all the brakes have been redone, including brake lines, had the drums turned. And you can even see, look at the condition of these wheels. These were like survivor takeoff wheels that I got super lucky and found. There's the brake lines. See up underneath the here. See everything. You know, a little bit of surface rust, but that is absolutely phenomenal for this 50 year old car. And look, even there, look, that's usually completely gone, completely rotted out. Over here again. Here's the passenger side floor. Driver's side floor. Get you the other way here too. And you can see the frame rails. Some of the undercoating's peeling off a little bit, but I mean, look at that's so original. And even look right in there, you know, usually that is completely rusted out. Look at that really good shape on the frame rails. Yeah, it looks like our might be leaking there at the little speedometer drive. I see some oil there on that speedometer drive. Coming forward here, uh, we did a uh, rear main seal. We did a clutch. We did the valve cover gasket, the oil pan gasket. We haven't cleaned it up yet. So we haven't cleaned it. So we still got, you know, oil on stuff from when it was, uh, when we changed it. Training mount looks good. Transmission shifts perfect. A little dense there, pretty standard. Looking at the front, see new brake lines up front. A little crack in the bushing there, but the suspension's tight, no rattles on this car. Drives straight down the road, brakes straight. Absolutely fantastic. Somebody had put a new starter on at some point in time. We did intake set, gasket, exhaust manifold gasket, valve cover gasket, all of those gaskets. 
and also too all under here we did put a a, a mild lowering spring set up on this and uh, on all four corners but we do have the original springs that go with the car uh it looks really cool the modern stance there you know a little bit lower stance with the wheels it just sets down on it looks really good all right and the previous owner told me he had put new strut cartridges in the rear so drives out really nice there differentials nice no whining out of the differential or training or anything like that either so that's really cool moving forward here and then i guess we'll kind of show you the pinch wells of the rockers here you can even see the spot welds on all these cars yeah, all those little pinch welds and all that stuff are gone because they're full of bondo you see up in there and then here i'll show you what i'm talking about here see look at those spot welds around the fender liners that's what you want to see. There's the outside of the rockers. Even the backs of the fenders are solid. Unbelievable. A couple little pinholes there. I'm not sure what that is. There's your frame rails again. underneath front for Lance kind of giving you the outside look at everything for right now in this round all right I'll dive back under here you see our exhaust here change the engine mounts because they still look good. Frame rail's nice. Like I said, all the suspension is nice and tight. No issues at all. Get up under here, you can see. Bottom of the radiator, radiator support. So we're giving you the full view of this guy. All the nooks and crannies that's what you need on these oh, look at that steering rack looks like that needs a new boot right there or a clamp or something on it steering rack's nice and tight though but yeah it could it could use a couple of new boots Again, the radiator support. There's our bumper, brackets. See no collision damage. All good. There's our lights, kind of a nice, good view of the lights here. So there is your underneath view. Let's drop this thing down and do the fun part. Let's go take it for a spin. All right, we're buckled up into the Z shift here. Got my ear evasion bob, no traction or traction control off shirt on, but no traction control on this car. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and fire it up and roll on out and take you for a spin. And that fires right up, no problems. Turn that fan down there one speed you know almost see the gauges and stuff too all right here we go rolling out a little hot today sitting inside shift here i'm sweating up a storm <laughs> be glad to get moving what's cool though is these old cars you know they got fresh air ventilation you know it, it actually pulls a lot of air in they were designed to run without air conditioning so they engineered them that way so, um, you know, actually driving these cars, I've got the passenger window up because I got my phone mounted to it. But, um, but uh, you know, with the windows down, it's a really, you know, not a bad drive at all. 
Okay, let's get out on the road here. And uh, got the old manual chokes here, and everything works there. The car I've been, I drove in it, so it's already warmed up, so don't need the chokes, but a little bit of choke, pump it up a few times, fires right up, and then it warms up, it chokes off, and it runs perfect. David at European Car Company did an amazing job dialing these carbs in. I didn't even try. I, it, I had to actually run it with the choke on when we first got it because it just had you know a lot of issues. But now none. So the brakes. So I told you I, I talk. Well, we'll get up on the highway here and we can talk about some stuff. I'll do a highway run first. Here we go. Give her the beans. <laughs> Oh man, that puts a smile on your face. I mean, it's no hot rod, but consider what, you know, in 1972, you had your, the small cars were British cars and they had no power, you know, and they were just, you know, they were, it was lightweight, but it was missing some power and stuff like that. And then anything that had power was just a big massive tank. So this car, was an absolute perfect blend of power, handling, and lightness. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her up to we're 60 mile an hour right there, 65. Just drives absolutely perfect. And like I said, we did a lot of mechanical work to this car. Um, so I'll get stopped here and I'll kind of put my window back down a little bit warm. Yeah, actually, I can just—I got the fan blowing, so actually, I am getting some air. But uh, so, when I got the car, I drove it around about a week or so. You know, when I when I first got it, I mean, the car actually was running and driving. Um, and you be sure to check out the video of of, uh, of where I got the car, and I'll put a link to that in the uh, description and in the comments. Because it's a lot of fun. The story behind the car, the tales from the trip. I'm extra cautious on pulling out here. A lot of cars. So be sure to watch that video. A lot of fun there. About the history of the car, about what the Z means to me and everything. And you know, there's a story, there's a, there's a story between me and, and, and these Z cars. So be sure to watch that video. I won't uh, double up on that. But like I said, I drove the car and drove it for about a week and it run and drove fine. Um, but you know, just like I said, it needed some tuning, had some leaks and so on and so forth. So we did the uh, valve cover gasket, intake exhaust manifold gaskets, the uh, spark plugs, wire cap rotor, full tune up, um, put in the, the rear differential mount was bad. We put in a new differential mount, uh, new clutch on it while we, cause the rear main seal was leaking. So while we had the transmission out, we went ahead and put a new clutch in it. And just a stock factory clutch, nothing, you know, it's dumb to put anything performance in it. Um, change the rear main seal, you know, lots of various hoses and, and different things on that, on that nature. Um, and then one thing you'll notice, if you look at some of our pictures on the car, the, uh, um, had different wheels and tires on it when we bought it. And I actually sourced the uh, factory wheels and covers and then we put reproduction Pirelli tires on the car. So absolutely just makes it look fantastic. And it drives great too. Transmission's good, synchros, everything on it. It's just super duper nice. But uh, like I said, the factory radio works, power antenna, um, you know, everything works on the car. And I could be forgetting something. Like I said, we did a lot of work on the car. Uh, all the brakes are done on the car. Um, pads, front and rear, all the, Rotors turn, the uh, drums turn, got the parking brake resurfaced, um, and all of that stuff. So, you know, we did a lot of did a lot of work to the car. Oh, and even the uh, here, forgot to show you guys this. Check this out. The original owner's manual is in the car, and something else kind of cool too. I'll, I'll I'll clue you in on is uh, I found a reproduction of the factory radio manual. And uh, so that'll be included with the car too. Uh, something that I found on the internet and I, I had, to, had to buy it, you know, just a reproduction, but it still is cool to have it with the car. But even like these wiper blades up here, uh, I talked about that a little bit. You know, I paid a bunch of money to have the original OEM uh, wiper, stainless steel wiper blades because it had black ones on it. Because nobody thought about these. They just took them off, threw them away and just threw a whole cartridge on there. 
and uh, <laughs> you know, not thinking about what these cars are going to be worth and the originality and all that stuff. So it's it's amazing. But temperatures perfect, oil pressure, battery, uh, fuel gauge works, odometer. We're showing fifty five thousand six oh five on the mileage right now, and um, you know, it just is a wonderful thing to drive. Uh, the steering is tight, no shaking, no no clunking, um, brakes straight, just a fantastic little car. So it is, mechanically right now, it is really, really sorted out. Um, you know, uh, you could get in this car and, and pretty much drive it anywhere in confidence. And uh, so that's, like I said, that's, we're at stage one of this car. And I'm trying to think, like I said, there could be, could be some things that I'm forgetting as far as um, maintenance and mechanic we did, but we'll have all of the uh, receipts and everything uh, in the picture gallery on the website. So, you know, you can kind of look through all of the, the parts that we've bought and all of the, the stuff that we've done there. But uh, just a great little car. Um, it's just it's a, it's a special car and and you know if you know if you're looking at this you know you probably know what this car is and what it's about and you know the values of these cars i mean they they shot up really high they dropped a little bit but you know they're only going to just continue to rise as time goes on because you know these cars weren't built to last they weren't built to survive you know, they they really weren't galvanized they you know you see where paints just flaking off of the car factory paint you know like under the hood and stuff it's just flaking off of the car because you know I mean they're a well-built car don't get me wrong but uh, but you know but there wasn't a lot of thought given to uh, preservation I guess is the word that I'm looking for so but uh, she's an awesome car I absolutely love it um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this overview video. Uh, you know, tried to get pretty detailed on this one. Like I said, this is stage one. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put this video out and see, uh, you know, see, we, we've got a lot of people that have been waiting for this video. So we'll give those folks an opportunity to uh, purchase the car and the car will have a, a, you know, now that we're like at a stopping point on the car and uh, you know, I've done a certain amount of work to it, I'll go ahead and put a price on the car now um, but then if I go to stage two, then, uh, th then that price is obviously going to change. So, um, so stay tuned, uh, check it out, like, and subscribe if you would, uh, always uh, appreciate the support of the channel, hit that notifications button. Cause you never know, uh, you know, you want to get notified when we post up a new car. Cause you never know we might have your next dream car. Have a great day and happy motoring.